To simplify the means by which you can circumvent the firewalls and filters that whether authoritarian regimes or a corporation set up to control what people access in the web, it's what's called an end to middle proxy in that it really takes place out on the web itself rather than on your computer or on the, the activity between you and the website in that it's a type of router technology that's designed to sort of flip the old man in the middle attack to be a kind of distraction in the middle where you send a request to a legitimate website say wikipedia or you know the justin bieber fan site but instead it has a little handshake a little code that's in that traffic that tells the telex software to redirect you to send you to a different website but have the packets have the actual data look as if you're still visiting justin bieber so it appears to the filter, it appears to the firewall as if it's legitimate traffic, but in fact it's a kind of sleight of hand in which you're being redirected to a blocked website, a filtered website, but that no one's the wiser. It can't have a single point of failure. That if it was, say, one legitimate website used as the cover, and all of a sudden everybody in Iran had become a fan of Justin Bieber, that... Yeah, they, they, they might figure that out or decide that he would corrupt the youth anyway, and that's why they need to block him. So in order for this to be most effective, the researchers are hoping that it would be deployed across the Internet as a whole, that countries like the United States or organizations like the European Union would mandate that this be installed you know, as part of facilitating freedom, as part of fighting against some of the policies of authoritarian regimes.